Hi guys, welcome to sequencing. In this lecture, you are going to learn how to sequence your layers within a composition. This technique is very important and it's very much in use when you're doing some kind of slideshows with videos and images and things like this. Let's say we select all our footage, okay? That's all of them here. I will click and drag and drop them on create new composition. I want a single composition, of course, and let's make the duration five seconds. If you take the dimension from pollution is okay and no sequence at all. And I click okay. So notice what happened. All the layers have come on top of each other in the same sequence I selected them. And now let's say you want to create a slideshow. The first thing is to decide how long a slide is going to remain in view. Okay. So let's uh, imagine we want to take two seconds only or even three seconds will work. So let's bring the time indicator to one second and then select all your layers and trim them to the left. Okay. Just like this. And then we go to four seconds and we trim them to the right. Alt and the right square bracket. Here you are. And then let's go home. You click on all of them and bring them to the beginning, pressing shift, they will align. Sequencing your layers. You want to sequence these layers one after the other. How do you do that? You start by selecting which one you want first. In this example, we're going to take them one after the other. Okay. Then we try other things. Then you come to the layers here. You right click and you say keyframe assistance. Okay. And you go to sequence layers as simple as this. Now, if you want to create an overlap, that's very fine. But for now, let's try without the overlap. And I click OK. So notice what happened. You actually created a two second or three seconds sequence or a slideshow from all the layers as selected. You notice? And it's very beautiful. I'm going to undo this. Let's stop the animation. Now I will right click and go to Keyframe Assistant again. And let's try it with the overlap. I'll put overlap and let's say the overlap you wanted only 20 frames. That's enough. You can have a gross dissolve, dissolve front layer, whatever you like, and you click OK. So notice now your uh, slideshow is ready and you can start now working, adding uh, lower thirds, adding some explanation if you like, and you're on. Let's try another example here. I will undo. Now let's select them in a certain order. We start with pollution, then all times, for example, then photographer, then the MP4 for photographer, then my company. I will right click, go to keyframe assistant. Here you are. And then go to sequence layers. Let's uh, give them an overlap and I click OK. Here you are. Now you have them really sequenced in a certain order, the way you have selected them. If I were you, I will just make sure that I will rearrange them in the right order, you know, taking them up and down to put them in the right order. Sequencing layers, you are going to use it a lot and it's very useful when you're doing some slideshows, like I said, and motion graphics is going to be great help for you. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture.